just up here in our door I saw some legs not little legs big legs <laughs> The main event for that like stormy night was the fact that we had a spider come in, which, which happens quite a bit. I mean, it's happened twice to us. If it rains really heavy, they just look for somewhere to shelter. And we were in bed, and I said to Mark, I can s there's, a, there's a huntsman in here, I could see the legs. So in our van, we have this, this little plastic one, which is our, our joke thing, you know, from a huntsman spider. But this is the actual spider. <laughs> That was in. Look how big it is. Can you see? I've got the end on my foot. <laughs> that's a huntsman spider. That's a that's quite a small one actually. They get about as big as a tea plate. <laughs> So that building over there is the toilet block and that I'm going to go and take him over there and just release him sort of on the ground because I put him down here and I don't really think it's like probably a natural habitat for them and I don't know he just came back so we'll get him as far away from the van as possible I think. <laughs> so here we go. <laughs> Come on Spidey. So where we were parked last night when we came in was here under this tree before it rained. And then all this happened. I don't know if you can see that. All this down here, this puddle. That wouldn't normally be a problem for most people to get out of, but we've had a, an issue. Uh, we stopped at a place called Dorigo on the sports ground. And there was a slight incline on the grass, and we had rain. It took us an hour to get out. We just kept getting bogged. Um, and we haven't got any of the um, traction mats or anything, so what we had to end up doing, we, we used a tarp. That I had in the back and just laid it on this little three meter square tarp and thankfully it, it worked so now now we have to watch out where we park when it rains so we came up onto this gravel and it worked pretty good this is a great little stopover Jabor Park um, just uh, just in Grafton actually which is a fairly big town um, and this is how you do it you let yourself into the gate when well, there's a little code there and then this is an honesty box so inside you have your leaflet there and you fill that in, pop it in an envelope, put your $10 in, post it in the letter box bit, and that's it, that's all you have to do. Ready, let's go. Okay, what are you ready? Ready. Gas off. <laughs> Gas off. <laughs> Find the keys. Well, there's a ton of flies in here. Close the gate. <laughs> See how wet the ground is. Oh. Well, thanks for visiting. <laughs> Enjoy your travels. <laughs> come on, you got to come. You got to drive the van. <laughs> so we got a long way today already. I think we've gone about um, ten feet. <laughs> we realised the table was slipping out in the back of the van, so Alison's gone through there to shut it. And as usually, what happens? There's always something else. The cake. We're getting cake now. Uh, yeah. Need sustenance for the drive, you know. Yeah, just for the drive. So yeah, we've had a good day. We've literally gone well through the gate. It's been a great day. I'm looking forward to my cake though. <laughs> we've seen loads of these crossings on our travels, but we've never had to stop. This is quite exciting. Your train, <laughs> your train coming by in a minute. Look, red flashing lights. Oh no! 
We must, here we go, we must have gone over the same rail line in Victoria. We just seem to snake over it. Here we go, here's the train. <laughs> Are you sure we're allowed to go? No, Is there sure. not another train coming? <laughs> Still says red. Still says red. Come on, let me go. Oh yeah. <laughs> I still looked, eh? Yeah, you did. Case. <laughs> oh, you never know. Could you imagine? That was good timing, actually. I quite enjoyed that. It's quite that's exciting. It's a little thing, eh? Hey, it is a little thing. That's why you're with me. <laughs> We're looking for a fuel station. There is, there was two up the main road there, but the fuel's pretty expensive here. I mean, we've been paying anywhere from 118 to about 125 a litre for diesel. And these, this is a bit cheap. This is 129.7, but back there, they were like, like 132. So we're not desperate for fuel, but we're just gonna put a little bit on to just top it up a bit. This one we'll have to do. At the one in 129.7 anyway, but uh, better to have it than not, as we don't know where we're going. What do you want? <laughs> okay, who's first? <laughs> so we're still using gloves for the fuel stations because of um, there's no COVID restrictions really anymore, but uh, they're the one thing that you obviously, a lot of people touch, so just to be safe. Early, early. <laughs> oh, a clean windscreen, not bad. So there's our fuel prices. Well, we couldn't just get somewhere. You blokes are going to have all the sympathy with me. <laughs> I have a list. She's got all this. We're now going in the spotlight. I've come looking for a table, but there's so, so much in here. Look at it. Ooh. We decided we need a table because we're going to get another laptop. So we've only got the one table at the moment. This one here. But come on, look at this shop. Look at the stuff in here. I mean, this I, I, the thing you should see, not having a house, you can't have all this stuff. But I don't mean to say I can't look. Oh, look, that's nice. <laughs> exactly. It's going to be a long day. Where's the man department? These that, good does idea. that look like a table to you? But, but this is. That's the nearest thing to a table. You could have made those. Oh my god. <laughs> That's it, I'm out of here. <laughs> Bye.
forgotten about this place actually. In Ninbin, just as you're coming out of Ninbin, is this. It's a public pool, a free public pool. And we came here one uh, day quite a while ago and we just parked the van up, which we've done here. And you know, we stayed here for the whole day. We just parked the van up, had like, you know, something to eat, went and sat and went in the pool. Like you can see, look, there's nobody here. Equally, this is our wash for the day. <laughs> for the week? <laughs> oh yeah, even for the week. <laughs> oh. We have found since we've been on the road, and because we haven't got a shower in our van, that we're obviously having to go longer uh, between. She's a dirty um, bitch. Look, it's all white on the bottom, look. Yeah, it is actually. Oh, <laughs> so after a lovely swim, <laughs> This is a free barbie outside the swimming pool, which is also free. Uh, nice rolls from the bakery. Got the bits of bacon each. to go oh we had a lovely time here free pool at Ninbin had a couple of swims didn't we oh it's superb it's lovely it was a bit of extra for the day it was we didn't expect to be doing that but then that's kind of our life a bit isn't it <laughs> we do that a bit not knowing what's going to happen next or where we're going and things change all the time like today it's changed we're not See, going where we thought this dodgy road up here now now this is an entrance to a caravan park, right? And look how bad this road is. <laughs> the best route really. No, no. No, I think I might have rookie error. I mean highlighted more by the um by the rain. It just shows how deep they are. Yeah, it does show how deep they are. The mud in the rain, but yeah. Oh, 